Hazardous waste is in the spotlight now that Walmart is being fined millions of dollars for disposing of hazardous items improperly. And tonight we're looking at how to handle hazardous items at home. All new at 6, News Channel 3's Lisa Avila has more on what you should know next time you take out the trash. Now before you toss your old batteries into the trash can, you might want to think twice. And that's because batteries are considered hazardous materials and should be disposed of elsewhere. But officials tell me they more often than not find these kinds of materials in the wrong bin and that can lead to damaging consequences. So here we have a bottle of degreaser, batteries and oil based paint. Which one do you think you can put into the trash can? The degreaser will go in the garbage can. Unless it's the degreaser. Well actually, none of these. Shouldn't be in it. Okay. Okay, trick question. None of them you can. I really don't think you could put any of those in the trash can. Not a regular trash can. No. Household hazardous waste. It's in our kitchens and our bathrooms, but where they shouldn't be, our trash. Because the batteries can explode, and it's, it, if it's lithium, it can catch on fire. Pa Oil-based paints, you do not want to put it in with food. It's contamination. It will contaminate everything that's in there. According to Burtech officials over the phone, they quote, more often than not, and quote, find these materials in the trash. Desert Valley Disposal also seeing similar cases. These materials can include automotive, household, and healthcare products. If incorrectly processed, it can wreak havoc on the environment. Well, it's bad for the environment, and it gets into the soil and it's going to be bad for our future. Not only that, according to Riverside County Department of Waste Services, it can contaminate recycling materials and pose a health risk to workers handling waste. Another Burtech official tells me some of their garbage trucks have even caught fire as a result of hazardous materials. So what can you do to make sure your hazardous material is properly taken care of? To read the labels first for one thing and then call the trash pickup people and they'll let them know what items go in the trash and what don't. Look it up first. Go online. And check to see if your city has a program to collect, recycle, or dispose of hazardous materials to make sure all your trash is taken out for good. And you can also visit hazardous waste collection sites like the one you see behind me in Palm Springs, this one operated by the County of Riverside. For all the information you need on hazardous materials, visit our website, KESQ.com. In Palm Springs, Luis Avila, News Channel 3.